What's up guys, Coach Jeremy here in Cornerbrook, Newfoundland for a very special event. It's Scotiabank Hockey Day in Canada. Yes, it's a celebration of the best game on earth. Later in the video, I'm gonna get on the ice with some people you might know, Wendell Clark, Darcy Tucker, Lanny McDonald. And we're gonna see if we can get a little bit of advice on how to put the puck in the back of the net. But first, I have to give a huge props to the people who made this event happen. The Scotiabank has done a great job putting this together, but the real heroes here are the volunteers, the locals of Cornerbrook, what happened before this event, days before, there was a state of emergency, there was flooding, they were closing roads, closing buildings, and honestly, I didn't think it was gonna happen. The rinks that you see over there didn't exist a few days ago. I figured they were gonna shut down the whole event. Not only did the locals all volunteer to help out in the state of emergency with the flooding, they also got together and got the rinks open, and now we have this, a massive celebration of hockey in Canada. If you can't tell, I'm excited to be here. The hockey players are excited too. We have a great community of hockey lovers here. So, uh, well, let me show you around a little bit and then we'll get on the ice. have a few phrases that I wasn't too familiar with so we're gonna go meet some of the locals and see if we can decipher some of these words. Say how's you getting on? That about Chubsy we got? That, that's basically like if I see you in the morning I'm like how's you getting on? Yeah how's you getting on means how you, how you do last night. If you're losing the hockey game say 10 to 5. Yep. Say the arse has gone out of her. That the means arse? you're losing bad. <laughs> the arse has gone out of her. Yeah we gotta get her back. <laughs> yeah. So here in Cornwick we'd say what are you at buddy? And that's the same as saying how are you? Like how you doing, right? What, what are you at, buddy? What are you at, buddy? Everything was great, but the arse fell out of her. <laughs> These things were going good, but now all of a sudden they've gone really bad. Everything's going best kind. We were up to mother and fathers for a little scoff. Going to mother and fathers, instead of saying mother and father, it's M-U-D-D-R. And if you're going for a scoff, that means you're going for a really good meal. And a scuff is a dance. So if you have a scoff and a scuff, you're going for a dinner and a dance. It is really common when someone says something to you that you agree with, you usually give them a little nod and a wink and say, yes, bye. All right, so if someone asks me how's it going, uh, I'll say, best kind. And if they say, are you having a great day, I'll say, yes, bye. <laughs> that's right, that's what you'd say. That's right, exactly. All right, All right. thanks a lot, guys. All right, Perfect. thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Have a great day. So we met some of the locals. You guys learned some of the uh, common phrases used here in Cornerbrook or in Newfoundland. Uh, looks like there's a bit of a uh, outdoor practice going on right there. So I'm gonna lace up the skates and get out there. I have nowhere I can find a right-handed stick. Oh! You haven't brought an extra? I, I'm lefty, but... I'll ask around. I'm not sure. There you go. Oh, go. Seriously, thank you. Need... Yeah, <laughs> Thanks a lot, man. Probably a bit short for you, but... Oh, that's alright. Okay, right. we're going to switch stations again. This group here, so I'm here. I just want to push some pucks around and stuff, right. so... Hi, I'm Kerry Hewlin, and I'm from Cornerbrook. I coach the uh, high school hockey, help tra and I'm a trainer as well. Oh, we're just having a few drills here. The uh, high school hockey kids are, uh, are uh, just teaching the kids a few drills and that, and it looks like everybody's having a bit of fun, so... I hope you're enjoying yourself. <laughs> if you pay attention, then maybe I'll put you on YouTube. Yeah. Now you gotta listen to these guys yeah. though. Oh, what's this? Just straight breakaways? Yep. Nice. Can I show them how it's done? I might. The, the stick is uh, up to my belly button, so <laughs> I'll try my best though. I watch That's you always on YouTube. All right, now you get to watch live. We're gonna go for the Datsuki oh, Indeed. Yeah. We'll see if I pull it off. I had to throw in one extra dangle because of the snow. I watch you all the time and you're amazing. <laughs> Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Now, all you have to do is try to beat him to a post. In this situation, he's covering both of them because it's a small net. So you got to make a move to one post, then go to the other one. That's about it. Let's see if you can do it. You're really good at hockey. Oh, thanks, man. Oh, right idea. Right idea. That was smart. That was a nice thing. You and Pebble Barber are my favorite. Oh, Barber's amazing. Yeah. I always wanted to score a, a goal on national television. Maybe I'll just snipe one between the legs when the cameras are rolling on Ron McLean there. So right when he, they start talking about how great the people in Cornerbrook are, yeah, that's when we should have a, see two of us a, a, a full off uh, yeah. Donnie Brook right in the middle. I'm just trying to follow these guys. <laughs> I'll follow Wendell Clark. <laughs> 
I'd be happy to. I don't think I have a uh, pen on me, but find me later. You're my favorite YouTuber. Thanks, buddy. Hey, put her there. Well, that was a lot of fun. Now it's time to head inside the rink, see if I can get on the ice in there. Pass on a few hockey tips to you guys from the pros. Rob Prince is my name. Uh, I run the modern hockey program here as technical director. So we're just kind of trying to follow some of the drills that we normally do. We always try to do some power skating, some puck control drills, but most importantly, to throw some fun in. Awesome. And it's awesome having these guys out here to help out. <laughs> Great to have a few extra coaches on the ice, right? Oh yeah, especially this caliber. I think that wraps up the key to a good practice right there. Work on some fundamentals, work on skating, a little bit of stick handling, shooting, and with some fun drills so the kids want to come back to the next one. What's the key to a good practice? Uh, I think at this age, just uh, let them have fun. You know, let, I, I, I really like a lot of skating, a lot of puck handling, and uh, as long as they're enjoying themselves, so hopefully they want to come back and do it again. I could, I could motor pretty good, so you know, if you can't skate, it's, it's hard to play the game. So, uh, so I was lucky. I was kind of gifted as a, as a goal scorer, but uh, you know, you got to get there first. So uh, I would say skating. I think the biggest thing is, is especially kids this age, is, is to get them to bend their knees and use the big muscles in their in their legs to skate. They're very stiff-legged. They they don't bend their knees and. Uh, and use their hips as much as, as they can because it's not really a natural thing, like it's not like walking. There you go, folks. What, what's the key to giving a good pass? Keep it flat. Don't Keep want it wobbling. That was a good one. We're getting a little bit of lights out here. I'm trying to sneak in between the drills, get a little bit of tips for you guys. Uh, let's go see if we can talk to Chris Phillips. The key to a good pass is uh, getting your head up, having communication with the person you're passing it to, and make it nice and crisp. I love that he touched on the communication part. Very important, and it doesn't always have to be yelling, being like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It can also be your body language, showing your blade, right? Letting them know that you're open through that body language or just making eye contact. Skating into a lane, that's another way to communicate that you're ready to get that pass. Chris, we're working on a battle drill. What was your favorite drill when you played? I uh, all, all battle drills. Next puck! Go, go, all go, battle go. drills are awesome because it go, shows go. the kids how to compete and uh, just be on top of the puck all the time. And you know, it's a hard thing to, to teach is uh, to be after the puck all the time. So a lot of kids at this age like to play in the perimeter and let the puck come out to them. But and they go in and initiate, go in and get the puck, and they can be in and gone and back of the net and have a better scoring opportunity. When you were playing, did you enjoy the compete drills the most? Or? Oh yeah, they're the best. So you got guys that uh, you go, like I used to like going against Chara and compete drills because it makes you a better player. So you want to go against him? Yeah. Okay, you two are up. Here we go. I know a lot of coaches are looking for conditioning drills, but a really good compete drill can be a great conditioning drill. And on top of that, you're working on your compete and also a lot of other skills, getting the puck, protecting the puck, stick handling, and your shooting. Let's talk to a few more of the pros and find out what their favorite drills were. So we're running a lot of drills out here. Just wanted to ask what some of your favorite drills were when you were uh, playing. Um, actually, I, I kind of like the, the drills where you had to battle, the one-on-one uh, -on -one drills. Um, Two on two, those kind of drills were, were more simulation of a game situation. Um, I also like doing two on ones because I was I like to score, so I was a scorer. So uh, you know, practice uh, two on ones, and, but mostly ga game situations where where it would really matter in a game where you could apply uh, apply your skills and and, uh, and learn a few tricks, getting ready for a game. Another vote for the compete drills, and I think it's important to kind of build into those compete drills. 
early in the practice, you can work on a specific skill, a specific skating move, or a specific stick handling move. And then in the compete drill, the kids get a chance to try it out. So uh, let's talk to Chris Phillips here and see what his favorite drills were. Oh, my favorite drills. I liked, uh, I liked the flow drills. Uh, we'd often have uh, guys on the four blue lines, and there's a wide variation of drills that you could do from that. Um, Moving the puck, keeping your feet going, uh, great drills for pregame skates. Chris gives a vote for the flow drills. You like to feel that speed, nice touches of the puck. Speaking of speed, this one is a great drill. Get up quick, in your first three strides, really go after it to get your speed up, okay? You ready to go? As soon as I hit my stick, that's when you go. This drill is great for getting up on the ice, working on your speed, and also a nice tight turn. When the coach hits a stick on the ice, both players get up as quick as they can. They're going to race with the pylon, quick tight turn. First one to get the puck gets a shot on net. What's the key to running a good practice? Keep the kids moving, don't give them time to think, having fun. The more times the kids get to score a goal, the more fun they're having. So keep them moving, keep them doing things they like. Handling the puck, scoring with the puck, that's what's fun to the game. Standing still, looking at a blackboard's not fun. What do you think of the drill so far? Oh, uh, Wendell's running a good practice here. We got some scrimmaging going on, four on four, four nets, good goaltending, some good skills. This is where you get to work on your hands, right here. You coach some AAA hockey, uh, what do you think the key to running a great practice is? Pace, pace. You know, I think anytime you get uh, the opportunity to coach uh, young kids, you want to get their heart rates up, you want to get them moving on the ice, you want them doing the drills as fast as they can. The game's all about speed now, so the faster you are, the better you are. <laughs> what drills did you look forward to? Uh, the ones that were flow drills, I, I, you know, listen, in the, in the games, uh, most, of the, most of the time the, you're chasing the puck. Uh, in the flow drills, you got the puck on your stick a lot, so I enjoyed them. You get, uh, you get the opportunity to play with the puck a little bit more. So the two most popular types of drills, flow drills and compete drills. I think something that's important to note for minor hockey coaches is that for a flow drill to run well, you need all the components. Players need to know how to skate, shoot and pass before they can do a good flow drill. So make sure you work on some of those, especially for the younger players. And if you can do those and then add the flow drill after, you're gonna have a lot more luck with it. So what's the drill? This one was just uh, three on all, make sure everybody touches the puck. Everybody gets a piece, uh, and then uh, when you get down, they concentrate on goal scoring. Just stay focused. I mean, you're not always going to do it 100% the first time, so you know, stay with it. Watch what other kids are doing. Get some good ideas, and just go with it. Love the advice of staying focused. When you're in line, if you're watching what the other players are doing, seeing what they're doing well or not so well, it's going to make you better the next time you go out, and it's going to help you improve just a little bit faster than you normally would if you're just messing around. So keys to a good practice: keep them moving, challenge them. Let them have some fun and let them compete. And if you do all that, can't go wrong. Got there. Is that a Canadian snow scraper, eh? Yeah, it's a brand, brand new model. We're just trying it out. The, the patented Lanny McDonald Canadian snow brush. <laughs> Available in stores well, soon. Only in Corner Brook. <laughs> you gotta love it. And the nice thing is, you can work on your backhand and your forehand, yes, right? Yes, look at that. <laughs>